SD RAM. This is the most common type of RAM using in the personal computer. The full name is Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. But actually, you don't need to remember this full name. Just the SD RAM is enough. DDR3 is still the most common type of SD RAM. Even though there are DDR4 RAM, a higher generation SD RAM in the market. And actually, the market is migrating from DDR3 to DDR4. The maximum storage will be increased from 16 GB to 128 GB. And of course, the data transfer rate will also be increased. But I don't get the DDR4 RAM data transfer rate. So this is only the DDR3 data rate. It's about 6,400 megabytes bytes per second. And with the next generation of SD RAM, so the power consumption is also decreasing. That means they consume less power with higher generation of SD RAM. And note that in the DDR RAM, they are not compatible with each other because of the key notch design. So this is the key notch. This key notch need to match with the SD RAM slot in the motherboard. So let's just zoom in to see the details. Since the position of the key notch is different in DDR3 and DDR4, therefore the motherboard has to match with the SD RAM design. So we have a motherboard design RAM slot designed for DDR3 and a different design for DDR4. That means the both the, the both uh, DDR RAM is not compatible with each other. That means if your computer is still using DDR3 RAM and you buy a new DDR4 RAM and want to insert it to your existing motherboard, that is not possible.